Do you have my record? I have indeed. This is fantastic! I'm finally going to be able to make my portal. Uh, never mind about that. And my motor? Have you made that? And you have earned your boat motor. I won't ask you whose boat or where you're sailing yet. I have an entirely different plan. Does it involve portals? Clever lass. Hmm. Remarkably compact for a boat motor. All right. I've got a boat motor and a boat manual. Now all I need is the general's bloody key. He doesn't have it in his office in the camp, or I'd have found it already. If I know him at all, it's in his safe house. That's the old pumping station where I threw him the masquerade ball. Why don't I just sneak in and abscond with the key? I miss my calling. I should have been a secret agent. He'll have the boat key in his office. I'm sure of it. Christ almighty. He's set for the apocalypse, isn't he?
There are some advantages to being smaller than everyone else. in a bucket. No, ah, uh, no, no. Uh. When I told you to come to my safe house, I meant knock on the door, not come down the chimney. Did you forget something? Gwen safe. Oh, yes, I'm sure you're taking smashing good care of her. What if one of Dr. Verloc's boys comes knocking while you're out? We'll move house. And when they catch you out on the street? What happens to her then? Come, look. It looks empty from the outside. No sense painting a target on the place. Food for a year, vitamins, first aid. How lovely for you. You'll stay here after I get Gwen across the bridge. It's the only place I can keep you safe. I wanted it to feel like home. I think I'll keep looking. You can't go. The doctors are scouring the streets. This is a cage. Not once you tell me where she is. I'm not going to do that. I think you will. Baby's going to get hungry if you're not there to feed her. You bastard! You are horrible, vicious coward! Oh, Sally, Traitor. do you love her or do you just love having someone who needs you? Let her stay with us. Here. Please. This is no place for a child. She's just a small thing. I'll make you happy. I promise. You'll come first. I can make you so happy. You're just like when we first met. I think I've just pissed him off. I've got to get out of here. Sally! Oh, Sally! You won't be leaving this facility without me. I have the only key card. I've got to take him down somehow. This is a really nice lab. Maybe I can use his own magic against him somehow. I can make morpheline. If I throw it in that fountain, it'll steam off morphine gas. And down he goes. 
You're trying to come up with some clever chemistry, aren't you? I like you, Sally. Why do you have to be so damn difficult? Who else is going to give you what I can? I'll just have to turn on the fountain. got all my stuff in his office. I'd better get it back.
come to your senses. I've done terrible things, Sally. I had to do them, but the mob despised me for it. I think I deserve a little consolation in my old age. I'm not your consolation prize. How long was I in there? I've got to get back to Gwen. Just like childbirth. You barely remember the misery. Lovely day for it. The neighbors think you've got a downer in your house. <laughs> Not me. If I were any happier, I couldn't walk in these heels. <laughs> That's a joke. They heard someone crying. Love to chat, but I'm expecting Sir Robert any moment. Then you shouldn't have provoked Dr. V like that. After he tried so hard to put you out of his mind. Look, you tell Anton that the general is going to be really fucking pissed off. I don't think... He much cares anymore what mood Sir Robert is in. Personally, I'd like to see your customer list. Odd. Something I've not smelled since... That's a baby! Yes. Isn't she adorable? <laughs> bucket okay think sally if he doesn't come back they'll send more doctors we can't stay here anymore can we i've got to move you someplace safe It's gonna be dark in here, darling. But when you come out, you'll be as safe as you can be. You're going to be as quiet as a mouse, aren't you? Because you don't want Mummy and you to be torn to tiny little pieces. Just go to sleep for a little while. All right? Now all we have to do is travel safely across the entire city. And not upset any doctors, or any townsfolk carrying torches, or pitchforks, or plague victims. 
Oh, the stories you'll have when you grow up. The road goes ever on and on. I don't actually like long walks. All personnel, if anyone finds Private Elston's trumpet, please return it at once. He's not the man who wakes you up in the morning, he is a musician from the band. No one's here. Thank God. Let's get out of here, shall we, Gwen? Shh. It's 
almost over. Let's just lower this into the water. They won't anymore, will they? Make as much noise as you like. Maybe I'm not such a rubbish mum after all. You'll never know how alone someone can be. You have me. I'll have you. I guess I'm happy, would you? We're gonna have such adventures. We'll be the two musketeers. <laughs> <laughs> 